So this video here is dedicated to my one and only crush. I say crush because it's been a while since we've seen each other in person and with technology, thanks to technology, we're able to talk and say hello. A simple hi is all you need. Well then, who is my crush, you may ask? So anonymous is she, right? Not. Her name is Angie. So let's get down to business quick. How did we come about, or how did I meet her? Yeah, it's actually kind of weird. Kind of weird of the story. So there was I, minding my own business on Facebook. Well, not really minding my own business. But I was just typing away, reading statuses, doing my thing. Working on new content for, at the time, was irreversible-ish, probably LRC pictures. And all of a sudden, I get a message and say, and look down, and Angie, Angie, who is this? The first message, hello. So I wrote back, hello. Oh my God, I seen your videos. How are you? I'm Angie. Well, I'm George Carrillo. How's it going? And from there on, we started talking here and there, but it didn't grow crazy. One story I do want to say is that she was obsessed. Oh, I don't even want to say the word obsessed, but she always thought, or she probably still thinks, I'm not, I'm not even 100% sure, that baby hippos are beautiful. They're cute. And me looking at a picture of a baby hippo online, I'm like, they are not cute, they're ugly. And so we used to have these little arguments, these little mini arguments, and I, even, I don't even think that they were flirting, if we were flirting at the time, but it was funny though. So the one time that we did go out, it was probably the most cheesiest, most corny thing in the world. Me, be, me being Buddhist, I took her to an Asian assembly in high school. And you might think, what in the world? How is that even a date? I went all suited up, something similar to this, and she went on a nice black dress. Yes, I still remember the dress. And I could totally tell she was hating every single second of that assembly. I was surprised to see some of my friends, you know, performing, having fun. But just seeing her sitting down and just looking at me, I knew she was like, get me out of here. I'm like, you know what? No. <laughs> but overall, I had fun. I know you hated it. And I know I still owe you one. And that's why I bring up this story. So why my crush? Why do I pick her and not other girls, millions of girls in the world? Well, she's smart for the first part. She's beautiful, she's hardworking, and she has a good sense of humor. I cannot always be funny with my jokes. I get bored of that sometimes. Do I even have jokes? But there it is, that's my crush. So thank you guys for watching. <laughs> oh my god, uh, this actually was a very special video to make and also to, I still have butterflies right now and it really took me back to the days in high school and middle school, at least the type of person I, I am. Um, you know, when you like a girl or you have just a simple crush on a girl and you want to say, you want to go up to her and you just want to say hi to her, you're terrified, you're scared, uh, yes, there are guys like us, um, we're the good guys, you know, um, we're not always fully 100% confident at the time but it was uh, it was a good experience to bring those feelings back again so with that being said if you guys haven't seen my video right here click on top my ideal girl check it out see what type of girls do I like um, am I a special one or not uh, there is a, di a quick disclaimer on that video I do talk about if I have a crush and I say at the moment I do not have a crush but there are things in life, such as personal things, that you don't want to share to the whole world at the time, or you know you're just not ready. Um, and I think at that moment I wasn't ready to talk about any crush at the moment. But now you know. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Boop. All you have to do is click subscribe, and you can share to the world my channel. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment. 